Hey there, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther and welcome to another episode of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo? Uh, I'm just super proud of this one, man. Like, I'm super happy. I, it, it was like super exciting to do this effect. I don't know, I think this is the op art or what is that called? Or some hypnotic effect? I don't know, but dude, I love this. So the main idea last time I did something similar with the blend tool. And now this is not the blend tool and I gotta show you how to do this stuff because you can't do this with the blend tool basically. It's, this is really good, but uh, you can do the same retro kind of effect with the last video. You also can check the, la uh, the last video on the right corner so you can check it in fully. Uh, yeah, let's jump in, man. Uh, I'm gonna create a, actually here is the logo. So select your logo or uh, I don't know what else you want to put this effect on. And I'm gonna click it, go to object, path, offset path. Uh, let me see, we're on 10. Uh, I'm gonna decrease it actually. So I didn't, I didn't even know. What if I, let me check it, okay. A five is pretty good. So we're gonna work with the outline of the logo. That's the main idea. And I'm gonna unite these outlines by clicking on this from the Pathfinder, clicking on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, you can go to Windows and select the Pathfinder, it's right here. And now we have this, I'm gonna press Shift plus X or you can go to this little uh, arrow thing and swap fill and stroke. Make sure you're on the stroke, that's the main idea. So you can see we have the logo's outline. I'm gonna ungroup it. What the hell? I'm gonna group the logo back again. Right now, I don't really need the logo, so I'm gonna put this out. And uh, we're gonna work with the outline only. So I'm gonna press and hold Shift plus Alt and increase the size. I'm gonna go out of the artboard. So I'm gonna increase as much as it's gonna go out of the artboard. This is it, and now we're gonna go to the effects. Click on this distort and transform, transform, and here you go, the old transform tool. Now we're gonna increase the copies, I don't know, I'm thinking on 16, 17, something like that. I'm gonna decrease the horizontal and the vertical. 92, and you know, just rotate the angle don't go to the extreme so don't go to the extreme until see this stuff it's just uh, going uh, how to say it? it's like not smooth uh, I'm gonna show you so these are crossing each other already uh, when we want to create this effect which I created here it's gonna create like more problems because those just crossed each other and it's gonna create like unnecessary forms and shapes there so I'm gonna go back uh, I'm gonna click on appearance if you don't have the appearance go to windows and select appearance it's right here and I'm gonna work more on this actually I'm gonna add more copies a little bit more and I gonna but this is too less so I'm gonna add like 1.5 no, oh, I think this is accurate, yeah. I'm gonna click OK. And uh, also, this could be a pretty nice effect. I, just, I can also like put the logo here. So this is kind of the stuff you also saw it right now, how it's done. But I gotta show you the next step also. I just wanted to see uh, how it's gonna look like this because this idea just came up in my mind, so. Uh, not that bad, I like that. I'm gonna create a new copy and now I'm gonna create that effect, okay? I'm actually gonna leave the logo there. Uh, so, I'm gonna go to Object, Expand Appearance and swap it, you know, from uh, Stroke to Fill. Click that. And now we're gonna go and click on this, on the Divide from the Pathfinder. Click it, right-click on Group and... Uh, let me see what we're gonna delete. So first I'm gonna delete this. And I, I'm going to go from in to out. The delete, not delete, delete, not delete. This goes, oh, it came out perfect actually. <laughs> and there you go, I gonna... Actually this uh, is staying really good in here. 
And now I'm going to show you the last step, how to put this in frame nicely because it's going out from uh, the artboard. I'm going to group these, right click, group. Let me see if I have some unnecessary stuff. Group, okay. I'm going to create a white box. Just select the rectangle tool, press and hold shift, go to the center intersection point at the corner and just create a copy. I mean, create your first uh, square. Uh, press shift. Let me shift plus control plus the left bracket. You can see uh, down in the left corner where I am in here, you can see the shortcut how it's done. But the main idea is to put this square at the bottom, create another copy, control C and control F, or you can go to object or no, 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 to edit and paste in front. This is going to create a new copy and paste it in front of the you know original shape and go con press control plus shift plus uh, right bracket. Is that the, I don't know. And now it's up. Select all three um, shapes, go to the transparency and click ma make mask and now it's like adjusted perfectly uh, as you can see there's like uh, it's kind of unbalanced because it here is white here is white and i don't kind of like this so i'm gonna double click i double clicked and now i can move this inside i'm gonna press and hold shift plus alt and increase the size of this until the corners what are those it's going to be black Nice, something like this. So yeah, mainly this is how you do this effect. Uh, I love this effect. I'm in love with this effect. So yeah, anyways, uh, this was it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out the other videos. Have a good day. Bye bye.